so I do need to dump my toilet so I'm thinking about putting my um, tank in the golf cart and driving it over to the bathrooms um, so let's do that let's go check out that area so I'm gonna go grab my tank from my toilet and um, take a little drive over there Driving in the golf cart, woohoo! I thought the smart car was fun. This is even more fun, woohoo! So it took me a minute to figure out how the heck to start it, and uh, then I figured it out. So apparently it's electric, and uh, you just turn the switch down there to the on position and hit the gas. <laughs> so. Anywho, all right, we're gonna go over to the bathroom. Got my toilet tank because I need to dump that bad boy is full. And I meant to dump it the other day, but yeah, that didn't happen. So, five miles an hour. Well, guess what? This has no gauge on it, so I don't know how far or fast I'm going. <laughs> I would assume that I'm going fairly slow. So this is the building. It is a little bit older RV park, so, um, you know, there's that. But, um, still, nice place all in all. Alright, so we're gonna slow down. Go right over here to the bathroom. Ooh. And here is one of the bathrooms. They've been doing construction, so... They've got that going on and I don't see any men or women signs so I'm assuming it's unisex so let's let's dump the tank hopefully there's no spillage nope no spillage okay so they've been renovating Ooh, okay looks nice you know what I'm not mad at them they're doing what they can with what they've got um, so they did say that even though there is some work that needs to still be done, that everything was usable. Oh, looks like that one's not usable. So we got one working shower and hopefully two working toilets. Uh, gross. Uh, disgusting. Yeah, I won't be using the toilets. How about that? <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna dump my pee. Okay, tank is all empty. I did not bring a jug of water with me, so I'll do the rinsing out part back at the camp. That's not that big of a deal. So I will put water in it and a little bit of bleach and rinse it on out later. So as you can see, they do have a little bit of a playground. They've got a volleyball net, they've got swings, slide. So um, another slide, it's like there's a tree that you can climb right there. And these people all actually um, from what I'm understanding, most, like 90% of them, actually live here full time. So, and there's some more people down there, but we're going to go drive and see the, um, let's go see the water. Now that I know how to work this thing. <laughs> All right, let's get turned around here. Let's go down to the water. I'm going to show you how close it is to the water. We are actually right over there, our camp is in the middle of the field. So I want to drive you over and let you see the water. The water is right here. You can see it. Right there is the water. And there's a little boat launch there and everything. So it's actually pretty, pretty cool. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this way and go back to our camp so you can see how close we are to the water. Somebody's got a boat out there. Pretty cool. I see a canoe. Whoa, slow down, slow down, sister, slow it down. So there's the water. I will be putting myself in that water and of course showering after. <laughs> but um, yeah, so most of these folks are full timers. There's another boat area over there it looks like. And uh, they have hookups because the, this is an RV park, so they do have hookups, so they can be full-time even in the winter because, you know, Maryland does get cold weather. We do get snow out here, 
so um, they would have heat and everything because they're plugged in. Look, they've got their dish, cable TV, direct TV. Hey, how you doing? So far, the people we've seen are nice. Looks like that dumpster needs to be dumped though. Ooh. Thursday maybe it'll come tomorrow I hope that'd be nice and so our camp is right here so as you can see that was like just steps away I mean I could have walked it but I didn't want to walk with my tank in my hand you know what I'm saying so this whole field with the picnic tables and the stage and everything is where uh, Mr. Mumford has reserved and there are I think what's the highest number 32 spaces yeah 32 spaces look at that big huge grill over there this would be a great place for him to do the food. Look at that huge grill on this spot. This is spot number 32. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's a huge grill. It's just asking for some barbecue, some BBQ. So I'm in the process of bleaching out my, uh, put a little bit of bleach in the toilet and I'm gonna get some water. And I'm going to clean that out, put it back together, and I am done. The toilet is all clean and back together and in its proper place. I do slide it under the bed when I'm not using it. I'm just has it. I just have it out for this particular video. But when it's not in use, I keep it slid under the bed because I like having an empty space and not having a toilet um, right here. Although when I go to bed at night, I do tend to leave it here so I don't have to pull it out if I'm sleeping or sleepy, waking up in the middle of the night, pulling that out and putting it back. I just leave it out at bedtime. But during the day, if someone wants to pop in the van and say hi, they don't need to see my toilet sitting there. So that's where um, it stays at night. And then um, during the day, it just slides right in its space. And this is my litter. And it sits back there in its container. And then I have a nice, empty walkway there. Nobody needs to know where my toilet is. Enjoyed the video? Give it a thumbs up and expand the family by sharing it. And let me know in the comments below. Want more? Go on over to Patreon and help support the making of future videos for just a dollar a month. And even more still, text VANNERFAM, all one word, to 703-783-3232. Mwah. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.